anything you put before God, he is going to take it away. The minute you start to honor and worship a thing or a person by giving them all of your time, by giving them all of your attention, by allowing them to consume your energy, consume your emotions to the point where you're neglecting your relationship with God, oh, he's going to turn it up and he's going to take it. And not because he wants to see you hurt, not because he wants to see you struggle, because he needs you to understand that until he is enough, nothing's enough. Until I am enough, nothing is enough. Not the job, not the kids, not the husband, not the wife, not the friendships, not the cars, not the house. Until I am enough. Nothing. There are some people I don't want to be even with. I don't want to be on your level. I tried that. It didn't work for me. I don't want to be on your level. I didn't like who I was. I don't want to be on your level. It left me bitter. I don't want to be on your level. It left me angry. I don't want to be on your level. The generational curse can't get broken if I stay on your level. They've been doing this in my family for generations. God has called me to a different mark. So yes, I'm sorry that I abandoned myself. And yes, I repent, God, because I missed the mark when I went off. And I read them for filth, but I came home dirty because I missed the mark worshiping the universe when you can worship the creator of the universe do you think because i don't understand i ain't read nowhere where the universe was nailed to a cross go back to what you know go back to what worked for your mama and your grandmama and great granddad and grandpa that was jesus they was up all night calling on the name of jesus walking the floor praying for you laying hands on you in the middle of the night when you got sick they was calling on jesus they had the prayer meetings in the house there ain't nothing wrong with that name it still works he ain't gotten away from us we get away from him with him I know